Tonight, a Fox 59 investigation as we obtain records giving us insight into the Citizens Police Complaint Board. We've learned only two members of that board have achieved their required training hours since 2018. This 12 member board investigates and decides what happens after a person files formal complaints against an IMPD officer. Fox 59's Courtney Crown requested these records. She's now walking us through what she found. It is concerning. Records Fox 59 obtained show the 12 member Citizens Police Complaint Board members are not meeting their training requirements. They must have 20 hours of police procedural training and 16 hours of ride alongs with IMPD. For 2020, no one's accomplished a ride along as of October 15th, and only one board member completed any amount of training. We don't want to put everything on COVID, but I'm sure that. Scheduling ride alongs with, you know, IMPD, uh, the fear of COVID, some of those things have curtailed, um, but we do want to ensure that we're on top of that. In 2018, no member completed their total training hours. Some logged zero hours. Same for 2019, though two people accomplished the required 36 training hours. Why do you think it didn't get done in 2018 and 2019? You know, again, uh, that's been a part of our review. And um, the Office of Audit and Performance does just that. They, they audit how our departments run. The Citizens Police Complaint Office is currently under review for efficiency, accountability, and transparency, and has been since 2018. We uh, initiated that review, and all of those questions are going to, uh, to be answered in a transparent way, and I, I want to see to that. Again, this board is in charge of making decisions on a citizen's report regarding whether officers violated procedures or acted inappropriately. Deputy Mayor David Hampton oversees the office and insists the lack of training does not hinder their abilities to fully investigate citizens' complaints. I think they're, they've been able to do their jobs. Um, with the review process of, of police complaints, and, and it hasn't hindered that process. But, Deputy Mayor, if they are making these decisions, what are they basing their knowledge on? I don't want to make any excuses for, for the board, but I can assure you we are working together with not only the city council, but the board and the office to ensure that going forward, uh, the training takes place as it should and that we don't have these gaps. Deputy Mayor Hampton insists board members will be held accountable moving forward. Courtney Crown, Fox 59 News. The mayor's office tells us after Deputy Mayor Hampton's interview, multiple board members told them their recorded hours did not reflect their completed time. The mayor's office is looking into this. Courtney also asked to interview every person in that review board but no one would discuss this today. So we will follow up. In the meantime, Deputy Mayor Hampton says the audit should be completed by the end of the month or early November. And once it's finished, he is committed to showing the findings of that review to the public.